military vehicle in the state of Texas, Ura. Um, what that means is I can drive around wherever I want within regulation. There, there are some stipulations to it, but to be honest, I don't think anybody's really going to care as long as they're not seeing it every day as a daily drive. Uh, when you do register in Texas as a former military vehicle, there are some cool, some cool bits to that. You do have to maintain the original paint scheme relatively. You can't do anything like painting red or anything crazy like that. Uh, there are some other really cool things. Notice I'm not wearing a, a, a Texas uh, license plate. I don't have one on the back either. Since this one had serial numbers, you need serial numbers on the hood and the tailgate. That actually becomes my license plate. So, anyway. I thought it was pretty cool, so that's the, the route we went. Uh, the only thing you have to do for you guys in Texas looking to register something like this, uh, when you belong to the DMV, be prepared. It will take them a while to figure out what the heck's going on. Uh, you do need to go in there with pictures. If you're going to go this route, you need to have pictures of the vehicle so that they can show them in the system what the vehicle looks like and uh, the serial numbers and everything so that you're not just a BS on the plane. Uh, other than that, you pass a safety inspection, which you do every five years. You'll notice this is registered until uh, February of 28. Safety inspection, turn signals, headlights, high beams, low beams, tail lights, uh, brake lights, seat belts. Other than that, uh, you don't really have to do anything else. Uh, safety inspection here was like 25 bucks. Uh, the registration for this was like $60 for five years. So I, I figured you can't really beat it. You guys in Texas looking to do it, this is uh, an easy way, an easy route to go. Anyway, you guys stick around, I've got a lot more coming. Later.